So Eddie, your project's twofold. You're lighting up a village in two different ways. Explain that to people. It, it all started with the forest, but then we thought we don't want to be strictly speaking tree huggers. But then we thought, okay, why don't we look after the trees by looking after the people? And we thought, let's turn on these guys' lights. We, we could tell them to turn off the lights as part of Earth Hour, but they, they don't have switches on the walls. So, <laughs> yeah. Different. Yeah, it's different. People may not know about the Earth Hour forest. Explain it to them. The Earth Hour Forest was an idea that we started, there, there were lots of tree planting initiatives that were going on in the country, and so ours was to say, how do we put this in one place, okay? So that instead of you planting a tree in your backyard, someone else in their school compound, why don't we have a single place? And yeah. how many trees have you planted? Right now we have planted about 65 hectares uh, planted right now, 65 hectares times about 400 seedlings per hectare. That's how many trees. That's a lot of trees. It's about 26,000 trees planted right now. And that's in one planting season. Uh, there are two planting seasons, which means we cannot plant everything at once. How much does a seedling cost? About a dollar for two seedlings. So basically, somebody can go online, they can use their phone, they can use a tablet, whatever, and contribute one dollar, and that'll plant two trees in Uganda. Yes, yes, and, and, and it's something that we'll be able to show, because it's, it's not like it will be some amorphous idea you'll have supported. Right. We can go right down to the forest and say that, okay, so this is the tree I planted, and this is the tree I contributed. And these villagers, the people who live around the forest, are they excited yes. about planting the trees? Or are they kind of like, oh my gosh, we have to plant trees? I'm sure you saw the old lady in the video. Yeah. Uh, she, everyone was like really excited about her when we said we want someone to talk. Like, no, 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 get this old lady, get this old lady. Because she's like wobbling with her stick in the bushes looking for the next hole to put a tree in. Well... It said in the video that she had planted 10,000 trees by herself. Can that be possible? I mean, she's, she's not a spring chicken. She's not young. <laughs> now, what happened was they, they, there have been initiatives, uh, some that we found ongoing mm -hmm. uh, and, and those that we, when we joined in. And this has been over a period of time. 10,000 trees, one person. I mean, I, I don't even know if I could do it, and I... <laughs> I'm a lot younger than she is, I venture to say. I, I know. Uh, so it's amazing because for us, that was like the buzz right there. What? <laughs> Grandma, are you serious? <laughs> but yet when you see the, the excitement from all of them, you go like, wow. Yeah. And, and for them, that's why she's the role model of, of what tree planting is. Uh, because she challenges all the younger people to, to plant trees and do something. How many villagers live around the Earth Hour Forest? There's a total of uh, 1,200 households. Uh, and it's an average of about five to seven people per household. And why do they cut down the forest? It's because of uh, the use of firewood and charcoal. Uh, most of the households use the three stone fireplace, mm -hmm. which is really getting three rocks assembling them together and sitting a pan on top of, of, of the rocks. And you light up a fire right below that pan, there's lots of heat loss, uh, which means you need more firewood to just complete sure. a meal uh, to cook. And if you do this over a long period of time, then you have, you know, lots of trees being cut down. Generation it's, after generation after generation. Right? Exactly. Right. Even if they planted back the tree, they would need to wait 20 years for that tree to mature. Uh, but the rate at which the depletion is happening as, of, as compared to the planting, it's, it's, it's wrong, it's immoral, it's not right. So having done this for, for a very long time, there was barely any trees left. Do they seem to understand what's happening to their forest and the, and the dire straits that they're in? On the broader scale of things, the climate change impact and so on, they may not quite understand that. What we're currently explaining to them is their planting seasons, because many of them, their planting seasons have changed. 
And so now it's coming from them that actually you're right. You know, we cannot predict the weather anymore. Our, our yields are terrible. The, the drought seasons are really long and we don't know why. So then we're telling them, yes, that is why. It's the trees that you've been chopping for a very long time. So they're like, so what do we do? I was like, plant a tree, you know. So uh, that's how it's working right now. So you're explaining it to them in terms that they understand. Yes. Yeah. So Jamie Foxx is supporting you. How thrilled are you? <laughs> I guess that says everything, huh? That, that's super awesome. It's like really exciting. You guys did an amazing video. Tell me about that video. I just told the community that, guys, we have an opportunity to get someone to support us. Uh, but we need to show him why he should support us. Um, uh, would you like to help me with that? And everybody was like, yeah, you know, let's do this. But we're really super excited. Uh, I think for us, it's, it's an opportunity to say that if people come together from all manner of backgrounds, uh, believing in this one thing and doing something about it, I think the, the sky is just the beginning. Honestly, one of the things we really want to do is make this exciting. Uh, we, we don't want it to be a very, you know, straight jacketed conservation idea. You know, hey, let's plant the trees. It, it wanted to be fun, you know. Uh, how we do the planting is fun. How we meet the people is fun. It's excitement. I have a feeling with you at the helm, it's fun. I, no doubt in my mind. <laughs> Good, Good to luck. hear that.